Hello everybody, this is Troy, and I realize I hadn't made a video in a while, uh, quite a while actually, and uh, I've got a good reason to make one today, so I'm going to uh, get going on this right away. Um, what I've done here, a very simple mod, uh, someone asked me to help them with a maglev mod, and this was pioneered by Chris Tran, uh, do, some, do some searches and you'll find what he has done on this. And um, I had never done one, so I wanted to try it out, and uh, I was really pleased with the results. So what this involves is taking a cube, removing all the springs from it, and instead of using springs, you're going to use magnets on the inside. And uh, it still acts just like springs, um, although you get you get a zero friction, so your core is, is very free to spin and uh, no spring noise or anything. So uh, the mod itself was very simple. Let me show you uh, what I had to do to each of these. Now, when I first started, I didn't want to just grab a, a nice cube that I had, so I grabbed a budget cube. This here is a is a little magic, uh, <clears throat> and uh, what you have to do is uh, when you take the screw out, uh, different cubes are going to have different designs, but there's generally going to be a stock in the center here, and what you need to do is hollow out that cap. Now I don't know how much this is going to show up on video, so I may have to add something here, but um, uh, originally there was a piece that came up in the middle here that the spring went around and I needed to basically hollow this out uh, because what you end up doing then is using your screw and I've got two magnets and these are ring magnets and I was able to find these just at a local hardware store and uh, so they're just simply uh, a magnet with a hole in them and they will fit right here on the screw so just like a just like a washer would and then you put the second one on and you got to find the direction that is going to be the opposite and when you put that on the opposite way you end up with effectively a spring force here uh, on on that and I hope I'm in camera uh, <clears throat> so that when you put this in the cap now it actually acts very much just like just like a just like a spring and uh, it's really hard to show this so um, uh, let me put this one back together and I will uh, pick up uh, from there. I'll, I'm going to assemble this again. Okay, I've got this mostly assembled. I just want to show. Now, there's no springs in here anymore, but uh, you can see it actually still functions just like there are springs, uh, except you have no friction here on the core. So, so all that spring uh, resistance is gone, uh, but you still have the regular resistance of the pieces of the puzzle. Uh, so it's not just going to spin freely uh, the layers or anything, uh, but you can see uh, just how free that is. There's no spring noise or anything. You'll, you'll never get any of that. Now, uh, while I finish putting this together here, uh, you're not going to see any, you know, drastic night and day difference on this mod. Uh, actually, once it's done, if you were to hand this to somebody without explaining uh, what's in here, uh, they probably wouldn't be able to tell you anything different about it. Um, so it's a very um, light mod in that sense, is that there's there's nothing revolutionary about um, the feel about it. You, you can't necessarily tell that this has been done. Um, but what it does do for the cube, obviously what I have mentioned before, uh, it makes the cube very silent uh, as far as spring noise. It makes things very smooth. Now this is all very subjective, so uh, different people will have different opinions on that, I think. But um, to me, it feels very smooth, uh, and uh, I'll show you here once this one gets together. Uh, it it made it a lot more stable in this particular case. Now, this is a little magic. Um, if I compare it to one that has not been modded, uh, right out of the box, this one has not anything done to it. It's extremely loose, the tensions on it, uh, and you really can't tighten this because the way this particular cube works, you, you screw that... Uh, screw right into the core and it, it it goes as tight as possible and this is all on the spring um, Oops, popped and went too far but um, with the magnets uh, I've got a much tighter result here but um, it it's it's very good performing uh, I actually think it does perform better uh, now now with the next cube I did I decided to do this with my Volk uh, I didn't notice as big of a difference as I noticed with this particular puzzle. 
Uh, I still really enjoy it, and I'll probably end up doing this to all my cubes from now on, uh, at least short term. Um, it it retains all the all the you know features of the puzzle you know before, and actually maybe even corner cuts even better than what it did before, where I would get something like this. Uh, now I'm able to go line to line, and uh, and just corner cut with it. Uh, really smooth. Added a very slight amount of weight to this puzzle. Um, I particularly like a heavy uh, cube that, that turns freely, and that's exactly what I got with this mod. So uh, it's a very easy mod to do. I would recommend you try it. Uh, this is my Valk. Uh, there's very little to show here, so I, I can only describe what it is. Uh, compared to a Valk that has not had this done, um, it's also hard because I've got stickered and stickerless. Uh, any differences that I feel right now, I would generally chalk up to being the difference between that. But I know what's in here, and so I, it may be a little bit of, of a placebo effect. Um, but just the fact that I'll never get any of that Spring Creek anymore uh, made this mod well worth it for me. And uh, it's, it's really cool. So if you're looking for a simple mod, something fun to try, uh, go give it a shot. Thank you.